Well, it's been just over a year since two of the bigger police departments in the metro area started using body cameras for officers, and other big departments, most notably Portland, still haven't started. Well, the Fox 12 investigators took a closer look at what's working for some departments and why others are still holding back. Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez breaks it all down. For officers, it's a quick adjustment that takes just a little while to get used to. Body cameras in Hillsboro, for instance, start rolling automatically anytime an officer turns on his lights. But once the recording stops, there's a whole lot more that happens behind the scenes. And it takes time and costs money. 1114. For Officer Dylan Hetrick, wearing and using a body camera while on patrol has become second nature. Hey, afternoon. Hey, Officer Hetrick with Hillsboro. Just let you know I got a body cam on. The Hillsboro Police Department began using body worn cameras in September of 2018, and just over a year in, Hetrick says his impression has been positive. For me personally, you know, it was pretty seamless. You know, once we got kind of used to it, you know, got used to turning them on and kind of adding them to our spiel of, uh, you know, letting people know that they were on, um, you know, I've, I think it's become an absolute benefit for us. Hillsboro is one of several police departments around the state to adopt the use of body-worn cameras, including Beaverton Police and the Washington County Sheriff's Office. But some of the state's biggest police departments, including the Portland Police Bureau, have yet to deploy them for a variety of reasons. The city of Corvallis, for instance, purchased body-worn cameras for its officers two years ago and is only now beginning a pilot program. It has not been without great challenges. Benton County District Attorney John Haroldson asked Corvallis' police chief to hold off on deploying body-worn cameras until his office had a chance to study how prosecutors would handle the influx of evidence from the county's largest law enforcement agency. Every time that you are using a camera, you are producing evidence. All evidence that is produced if it's relevant to the case, must be reviewed. Right now, four of the five law enforcement agencies in Benton County, including the Philomath Police Department, are using body-worn cameras, along with a handful of Corvallis officers. We knew that it meant that we would have to take on additional work, but we never estimated that it would be as much as it has turned out to be. Your light was turning from yellow to red. Yeah. In Hillsboro, officers uploaded about 4,800 videos in the month of September and 5,200 videos in August. Only a fraction of those end up at the Washington County District Attorney's Office, which has processed roughly 2,000 cases involving body camera video since the departments in its jurisdiction started submitting it as evidence in criminal cases. These are all the videos that I've taken today right here. Back in Benton County, county commissioners approved funding for three new deputy district attorneys to help with the influx of video, which in many cases has to be edited and redacted in a in addition to just being reviewed. Haroldson predicts he'll need two more on staff once the Corvallis Police Department goes fully online with its officers. The impact for us is that we are not able to prosecute as many cases as we would otherwise be able to prosecute. You, you can make it over there or do you need me to give you a ride? In Washington County, the district attorney says overall case filings have remained the same despite the additional evidence. For his part, Hetrick says the cameras have made his job a little easier. When it does go to court, um, you know, we can have that there. We can help it add to our report, help it paint that picture for the jurors. I mean, it's right there. They can see the demeanor of people. They can see the statements of people. If there is any you know, kind of discrepancy or if there is some kind of allegation, there is that video there to say, hey, let's let's go back and look and see, you know, what was said, what happened there. All right, so you have a good day. We mentioned Portland does not currently use body cameras for its officers. The police bureau had planned to roll out a pilot program for the cameras this summer, but that was delayed by city commissioners. The bureau plans to take the issue up again with a stakeholders committee after the new year but there is no timetable for when the cameras will be given to officers. Reporting in studio, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.